I found this really good web page that I want to reference in a report later on, and it's all about Andy Warhol's Brilli Boxes. Now, if you don't know the story, what happened is Andy Warhol created these very large boxes looking just like Brilli Boxes, which were about this big originally. And he created them, sent them to the art gallery, and they said, how do you want us to display them? He said, go to the janitor, get him to arrange them however he thinks it looks best, and so it was so. This is a great moment in the democratization of art, in that you didn't have to be an artist, you didn't have to be great, anyone could do it. So that's the basic story. So keeping this in Mendeley is a great way to collect all the information, let me, lets me reference things quickly, and also in years to come I can find this again. So there's two ways which I can get this into Mendeley. The first one is open up Mendeley, and I can right click in here, add entry manually, go to the drop down web page, and I can just fill in everything just as it is. So that's very easy to do, I've done that many times. But there is an easier way, which is using the web importer tool. So click on here, tools, install web importer. And what happens is your default browser will open up. Mine's Safari, yours might be Chrome or Internet Explorer, or even Firefox. And it gives you instructions on what to do here. So I'm going to open up my bookmarks bar, or bookmarks column, and just drag this into favorites. Now obviously if you've got uh, something like Chrome, you might have the bar on the top of your browser. You can just drag it there as I show you. But anyway, I digress. Let's close this page down. So we've now got a little bit of code stuck into our browser, which is just there. So I'm going to click on it, and this window here pops up, which is saved to Mendeley. And what this does is that it gathers all the information from the web page and saves it for you. So it saves you loads of time and effort. So here we are, it's found the title, it's found um, keywords. I can put here, this is a page about Andy Warhol. And I'm going to save this to uh, the Fashion Function and Aesthetics folder. So click Save. Now it's taking that, all the information up into the cloud and saving it there. And we can see that it's done. So I can close this and enter into Mendeley. So we click on Sync and it's going to the cloud and finding any new references and bringing it down. So in a second, we will see this appear there. It does take a bit of time, unfortunately, but that's just the way things happen. So what we see now is um, the items downloaded, um, but a few bits of information are missing. So we've got to fill it in by hand. Now, sometimes it pulls out everything, sometimes not everything, but that's how life is. So we look at this, and we need to put in the right information for the page. Now, the publisher is going to be warhol.org, so I'm going to copy and paste that there. Now, the year, this is a bit of a tricky one. Um, we're talking about, if I was referencing that image, then you really want to say when the image was taken, um, who was taken by. So in this case, we've got um, 1964 is the year of the artwork, so 1964. The artist is Andy Warhol, so Warhol Andy. And we've got the data access it, we've got the URL, and there we are. So what we're doing here is we're referencing the artwork itself. Now if we were talking, and we're going to, um, call that brilliant box is the art piece name. So this is how you reference, use the web page to reference a piece of art. Now if we were talking about just the content of the page, so we're talking about the um, actual words, that's going to be different. We'll be looking at um, Arthur Danto as the author. Um, the same name we had before, the um, Brilliant Boxes and Art, be the title. Um, the year would be when the page was created. Now, you might not have a year on the page, so you've got to use your imagination. Um, if you don't, nothing said, you can say this year, so 2015. But if we look down here, it says copyright 2013, so we can assume this text was written in 2013. So you'd fill this in with year 2013. So it's not always the straight, most straightforward thing to do with websites. There is some um, difficult things, 
but hopefully this has shown you a quick way to gather the most of the information from the page to make it quick and easy and then how to navigate some of the other pieces. So good luck in um, referencing websites and I'll see you for the next lesson.